I don't know what all this is, but I do not want to find out. I could use that. I don't know what all this is. I could use that. I could use that. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, I don't like who. I don't like it. Who? Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Not bad. I don't know what all this is. I could use that. I don't like the looks of this. I could use that. I don't know what all this is. <laughs> no. oh, I don't know what all this is. But I don't want to find out. Oh, I could use that. <laughs> oh, I don't like the looks of this. If I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Whew, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. Please. Three times I saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. <sighs> hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. Oh. It's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? That old fairy tale? Yeah, like this war. Old white guy founds it, food and fresh water everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise we won't last much longer out here. You 
think people actually live like this? Uh... <laughs> not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. Can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's gotta be another way through. Huh. It's about time. What took you? What happened to these poor bastards? Can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and these guys. Over here. This is bad with the drop. A side of what? Nothing. Uh, something my ma used to say. <sighs> okay, Dead this one. is it. Shoot the damn thing! I'm not shooting. Hey, that don't count, by the way. <sighs> That's it? Starting to think looking for the board wasn't such a good idea. <clears throat> way the war's real. Not with a nest like this out here. You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Alright, we're back. Uh, it's, it's not, it's not 
Okay, you're safe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo. We still got each other. <laughs> not far from here, but the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out.
Ah, that one's rough. shooting traveler yeah I had some practice I'll bet but don't worry the wards as safe a place as any safer so it's really real food and water and folks living with some old white guy <sighs> more or less <coughs> whoa, whoa let me get you some water I'm Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... We need to get her to real quick. Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving. Before we lose the light.
Yeah. This is Riggler. Call me Riggs. I got you, darling. <sighs> Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh. He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but... The road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kinda nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. You ever climbed to the top of that tower in the city? This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's final. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse me? I'm 132 years old, in case you forgot. And I am not your child. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa. What have we here? Ah, the... Traveler, of course. Wallace said... Yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk? And some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. It's a great answer, just not a full one. Ah, uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources. And then we'll get into it in earnest. Let me see if I can get you up to speed. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Looks can be deceiving. In fact, she's 132 years old. Not quite. Clementine spent a long time away keeping strange company. Something like that will change you. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13, 
sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he does. And we're damn thankful. <sighs> I'm sure I can get you up to speed. Let me see if I can get you up to speed. All right, traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. Hey again. Did you have a question? Hey, I'm just glad we got to you, you know, when we did. You stirred up quite a deadwood nest. I haven't seen that many in one place for a long time. Oh, uh, that was Wally. He, he gave us a heads up someone was coming, then Clementine was the one that found you. They, they got a kind of, uh, a root sense, I guess. And we figured where there were root gatherings, someone was likely to be in trouble. <laughs> and there you were. Wally, I, I mean, uh, Wallace, he, he has a way of seeing things. Always has. Wally's been with the ward since he was just a kid, and his seeing has saved a lot of lives. He's, uh, he's a good kid. Oh, the kind I'm damn grateful I don't, to be honest. He sees like the root. Sees what they see sometimes. The, the past, the future. Whew. All that knowing. Huh. It's a lot for someone to carry. You should ask him if you want to know more. <laughs> I guess. I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but... Before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kind of put me in charge. Well, maybe no one else wanted to... Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks? I don't know, I guess I'd just take care of myself, uh, eat right, get to sleep early, all that? Yeah, Commander Ford always said a leader can't care for anyone if they don't care for themselves. I'm just trying to live right. I reckon she learned it from the Founder. <laughs> He's been around for ages. Granddaughter, actually. Yeah, the, uh, the Founder wasn't around as much back in the day, but... Commander Ellen was like a mother to me. To all of us from the old ward. <sighs> it just doesn't seem right. I mean, huh? I couldn't say. Commander used to talk about him like he was dead and gone before I was born. Eh, you'd have to ask him yourself, I guess, but... He ain't like the rest of us. He's... He's seen a lot. Make yourself at home, traveler. We're all family here. Right, if you need anything, you know where to find me. Find Wally out by the old docks. Talk to Wally. <laughs> He'll set you right. Good with Paxel take faces. Ooh, 
It is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Pax to take apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel tech name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxel tech faster, stronger, more powerful. Of course, Paxel tech. Safe on its journey, Paxeltek. I see you, traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. I'll see you again, traveler. You were right, Mudder. Traipsing in here like you own the place. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Psh, right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine, go see Riggs then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants.
God and my mother. Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words, percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time, yeah? So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Oh, it's a miracle. All right, let's see what you've got. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? It pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. I'll tell you what, you're clearly not the average stray that shows up here, so I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Oh, friend, <laughs> glad to see you're all right. Well, that's right, but everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back onto you. Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. That sounds like Bravis. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Is there something you wanted to do first? Glad to hear it. Follow me. Crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? But something was waiting on the other side. <laughs> 